So what's up guys, somebody asked me to make a video on how to resize your player and I haven't been on Unity in a while but I just wrote a simple script to resize your player and here it is, this is all it takes right here it says if you get a key down which is number one on the top of your keyboard for most people the two key or the three key, uh, it's based on my video I did on the set scale, like a random scale when you press T. It's the same idea, except you're setting the scale manually here in a vector three. So, um, the only other thing you have to worry about is raising up the player so he doesn't clip through the ground, which you obviously don't want him to do. And I'll show you here that it works. So we're playing. I press the one key. Doesn't do anything because he's the smallest size. You press two. He gets a little larger. And as you'll notice, um, you don't really have to do anything with this because the collider still fits to him perfectly. And if you click three, he gets the biggest size. You press one, he goes back down to his smallest one. So you can click him as fast as you want, you're not going to clip through the map. The only other problem I've seen with this so far, if you just spam the button, you can jump really high. But this is just meant to be a simple script, it's not meant to be like... I don't know, you could, you could put a timer on it and that would solve that problem. Not only that, um, you can fine tune how high he jumps to get to the next one, to the next size. But you'll have to do that on your own because it's going to be different for every character. Unless you're just using a capsule like I am. But yeah, you can see that's a problem. I just jumped right up on it. What the heck? Well... Oh well, but uh, yeah, there's not much more to it. Um, what was the other problem? Yeah, that's what I also forgot to mention. If your collider around your player is increasing in size when you do this, for example, let's say you go up to this object. Um, let's see if we can get it. Yeah. Need that. Alright. Let's say I press 3 right now. If you do it just the right way, I feel like it's possible to like glitch through walls and stuff. Um, I didn't put a collider on that. I don't have any good examples here, but... Because I haven't put colliders on most of this stuff, I guess. But, uh... I'm sure there's ways to get into places you don't belong in games just by uh, making your collider bigger because Unity doesn't really know how to handle it, just tries to push you out. But like, what I've seen with the ground in the past is it'll just let you clip through the ground and keep falling. You set your player really high, so you gotta set your drag higher, which I obviously didn't do. it. Um, yeah, I'm not going to give you an example. It takes forever. So see you in the next video.